It is the fourth and final model introduced in the 2023 Shaman King collaboration with Metarod, sporting a very nasty kit that specializes exclusively in sowing chaos and destruction among the enemy's team in the form of ailments. It is SKG-03 Mirai Hao, with the kits of Curse Shot, Punishment, Spinning, Float Legs, and the leg ability of Shape Memory which equalizes HP across all parts when charging Metaphors. Now, as the fourth and final model introduced in the collaboration, Mirai Hao most certainly will end the collaboration bots on a very powerful note, and while everyone else may specialize in one form of attack, whether it be an ailment or an interruption or crowd-based skill, Mirai Hao basically takes that and amps it up about eightfold with what he brings at his disposal. With the, with the ability to negate healing for a certain amount of time, a very wide array of ailments under his under his belt, and a new skill that basically serves as both power and crowd control on top of that, this is a most very powerful model to be and a force to be reckoned with. First shot on the head is a shooting skill and a relatively new ability that we've only seen once other on D Sorer from the Zoids collaboration a number of months ago. But to refresh and explain it briefly, Upon attacking an opponent with Curse Shot, when it breaks apart, whether it, when it does or not, the part targeted cannot be healed for a certain number of turns. I believe that's between 2 and 3, I think, relative to the rank of the part. But because of that, it also means that Curse Shot cannot be spammed repeatedly. So this means that when targeting something, you have to alternate between using Curse Shot and something else before you can use it again. So if you target, say, an as an example, an opponent's right arm, if you break it, that part cannot be restored until a certain number, of, until a certain amount of time has passed. Which means it can guarantee you that certain parts can remain out of commission and keep you in that tactical advantage. Now, say if it's a leg or an arm or something similar, this will again guarantee you keep the advantage as long as you can keep the parts broken on the field and buy yourself a couple extra seconds of time. Punishment on the right arm is, an is a mixed ailment-based skill that serves a rather interesting condition, but also serves as an antithesis to Sujigiri, which deals minimal damage if catching a foe from the front, but triple damage if catching him from the back. Punishment works inversely to this. It doesn't deal nearly as much damage, instead it'll deal times 1.5 if catching a foe from the front, and only 0.5 or half if catching him from the back. Now, in trade of having a lower damage multiplier, Punishment will inflict one of five ailments at random. Those ailments, I believe, are Metaphor Seal, Wave, um, uh, th th uh, Thunder, Fire, and another one, I believe, uh, Metaphor Seal, will be the five inflicted at random when attacking the target. Now, because it is one of five ailments at random, it does mean that you will have to, that you can spam it back and forth, and whether you catch a foe from the front or the back doesn't matter, it still has a chance to inflict the ailment all the same. Spinning on the left arm is a brand new skill being introduced into the game, and the easiest way to explain spinning is basically the antithesis of Inferno, which is Microwave plus Blow Away. So you overload your arm relative to Metaphor's charge, but then also push the foe away from you upon overloading your arm. Spinning is the exact opposite of that. As a melee-based skill, it serves essentially as an equivalent to Micro Shock, which means it has the same damage bonuses and modifiers, percentage bonus relative to Metaphor's charge, percentage, and defense ignore on top of that, and will self-destruct upon use, but it also packs suction. So instead of over your overloading your arm to push the foe away from you, you are instead overloading your arm to pull them closer to you, which will give Mirai Hao a step in hand in the crowd control, uh, crowd control territory. Now, with that, however, it does mean a level of finesse and juggling will be involved if you do plan to make use of it immediately, primarily for the fact that if a mistimed spinning, because it does have that suction ability, can either stall somebody's cooldown phase by pulling them back to the center line, or it can accelerate instantly their next heat phase and guarantee they take the next turn right after you for punishment. Float Legs means that Mirai Hao will have very good coverage across all terrains at A rank across the board, and of course S rank on Cyber, but it is also worth noting that compared to most other uh, boss type or collab float models we've seen, 
Aside from, of course, having a speed of, of almost 900 there, his stats really aren't all that impressive or broken either, and decently rounded and par for the course of where an upper tier float leg would want to be. A melee resist of 781 and a shoot resist of 744. At base stat is not bad, but again, as a reminder, 10% bonus will buff that up just a little bit higher. And the evade of 854, not too shabby either, but again, kind of on the lower end of where you'd really want to be compared to where you should be when on the field. So it is nice to see that they didn't make the legs on this one absurdly as broken and kind of a punished if you don't pull from him kind of model. Now, Shape Memory does also tie into his kit relatively nicely, as it does mean that upon using spinning and his arm does just explode, he can use Shape Memory to essentially bring it back for an Encore shot. Especially, as a reminder, because Microshock does not tie relative to HP, but to Charge Gauge. So that means that upon it exploding and being brought back, as long as you maintain your Metaforce charge, you can basically fire again at the same intensity as you did before, whether you had 100% HP or even 10% HP. All this being said though, as a pure set score, I still do have to rate Mirai Hao kind of a middle of the ground 6 out of 10, primarily for the fact that he is very heavily focused on inflicting as much as many ailments as possible on the enemy side between Curse Shot and Punishment, and then having a hand in crowd control with spinning and the suction ailment, uh, element that comes with it. But, because he does focus very heavily on ailments, that does mean that anyone that uses, say, Minus Guard as an example on Horoke Wolf, or even Stat Cleanse especially, or even has, say, Super Armor or something similar, will render most of what he brings to the table null and void, and really nothing more than just dealing damage at that. Plus, it is also worth noting that despite having an impressively high base power there on spinning at just over 2100, note the other stats there, a success of just over 8500 is not great as it means he does have a relatively decent shot of missing, and low heat and cool on top of that does not help him, this does not help his case at all. But, with shape memory, it does kind of tie it all back together, so if he does manage to, to break a number of things, Stay with a Hunter or Sniper Nature Metal or Charge Enough Metaphors and use Spinning, he can use it. Arm Explodes, he can use Shape Memory to bring himself back. And because Shape Memory will equalize the HP across the board, it does mean that even if it's just more than the left arm that's broken, as long as he maintains the legs and the head, he can bring the arms back as many times as he needs. But he gets progressively more squishy the more times you do it, and a lot easier to kill him the longer the fight drags on. As mixed parts, though, I do have to rate him just a little bit higher at a 7 out of 10 for these same reasons. That's not to say that Curse Shot, Punishment, Spinning, or Float Legs with Shape Memory especially are all terrible skills, but it's a very janky kit to use as a synergetic model as a pure set. And there's a lot of very easy ways to counter what he brings to the table and, rel and, br and, rend and render a lot of what he brings to the table null and void or minimize as much as possible. But, if you were to mix things up, say using the left arm and the float and the float leg with shape memory with something else that would complement it, such as say a full charge head or a spark strike or charge spark on the, right, on the right arm to keep your charge going and your speed, then you could really start cooking there with some metaphors, with, with some metaphors sustained to fill into spinning, blow the arm off with a high power shot, Use shape memory to bring it back, and you're back cooking again. But just bear in mind, again, with anyone that is making use of shape memory, it's nice to have. But do make sure you have somebody on the team that can restore HP over time or in bursts. Because, again, as you are equalizing your HP, you are making yourself easier to kill if you are not paying attention. 